Dear listener, I know not who you are. I know not whether you are old or young, rich or poor, learned or unlearned. I only know that you are a child of Adam and have a soul to be lost or saved. And therefore I say, hear me, I have somewhat to say unto thee. Dear listener, I have four things to say, and they shall soon be said. The Lord make them words in season to your soul. Number one, firstly, I have a word of wishes and desires for every one into whose hands these, these words may fall. I tell you it is my heart's desire and prayer to God for you that you might, may be saved. I want you to be convinced of your sinfulness in the sight of God, to feel your need of a Savior, to know Christ by faith and have eternal life in Him. I wish you to be one who knows his own lost condition by nature, his own corruption, guilt, and danger of eternal ruin, his need of a righteousness far better than his own, wherein to appear before God in the day of judgment. I wish you to be one who actually applies to Christ for peace and casts the burden of his soul upon him, who believes on him for forgiveness, who trusts him for deliverance from all transgression, forsaking all other hopes and confidence, draws from him all his comfort and strength. I wish you to be one who lives by faith, stands by faith, walks by faith, who receives with the heart that grand truth, he that believeth on Jesus is not condemned, and rests securely upon it. This faith is the only principle that produces inward peace and real holiness. This is the faith that sanctifies a man, that purifies the heart, that overcomes the world, that works by love, that brings forth fruit. He that hath this faith is born of God, and an heir of glory. He that hath it not is not of God, knows little of true, vital Christianity now, and will be lost forever hereafter. Dear listener, my best desire is that you may be a new creature in Christ Jesus, led by the Spirit of God, conformed to your master's likeness and not unto the world loving much because much because much forgiven having communion with the father and the son one with christ and christ in you then i should feel that you were safe safe though the lord should come in glory and heaven and earth be dissolved and the elements melt with fervent heat safe because ready for every condition. Judge for yourself. Can I feel that for all who profess and call themselves Christians? Then I should feel that you were truly happy. Happy because the springs of your happiness would be in heaven and never dry. Happy because your peace would be that blessed peace which the world can never neither give nor take away. Judge for yourself. Can I feel that for all who profess and call themselves Christians? Dear listener, I make no secret of my wishes, whatever you may think of them. God is my witness, and these are my wishes, these are my desires for everybody.